I will see you again, Ling Chi. Without a doubt, madam. I always do business with you. Who's there? Richard Wentworth Rainey, attaché to the American Consul at Shanghai. <laughs> and furthermore, who wants to know? Hello. Someone has been going through my stuff. I'm looking for the little trinket you're taking back to Lee Fong. <laughs> well, they'd hardly be after my socks. Oh, <laughs> that doesn't sound so good. I guess it's just as well you're going back to the States. Oh, by the way, I brought your passport over. And the Maru sails tomorrow at noon. Thanks. Well, give my best to Frisco. <laughs> I will. I wish you'd drop me a line. The uh, Drake Apartments. I'm stopping there with my brother Jim. Sure, I'll send you a postal. <laughs> Do that. Well, best of luck. And I'll try and get down to the ship and see you off. Thanks for coming over. Righto. Mr. Bonner? Yes? May I have a few words with you? Why, certainly. Won't you come in? Thank you. Mr. Bonner, I have the... You have uh, heard of him, perhaps. Mr. Vanoff is a collector of considerable note. Oh, indeed. Well, it's a harmless hobby, I suppose, but uh, I'm not interested. Oh, indeed. I was informed quite to the contrary. I was in hopes that uh, you and I might do some business. Well, I'm not uh, really interested in buying anything. No, you must understand. It is I who wish to buy. I don't get you. You have in your possession a uh, certain Chinese dagger. I should like to purchase it. I'm sorry, but it's not for sale. Now, Mr. Bonner, I shall make you a generous offer. Say, a uh, thousand dollars. A thousand? <laughs> why, I don't think it's worth a tenth of that. Well, then uh, why don't you take advantage 
Of your good luck. I'm sorry, but you see, it isn't mine. It's in uh, your possession. Then uh, why not consider? I'm not in the habit of selling property that doesn't belong to me. Mr. Varanoff is not in the habit of taking no for an answer. Well, this is one time that he'll have to. You're very foolish, Mr. Bonner. I offer you money for the dagger. Others might not be so scrupulous. Are you suggesting that someone is liable to steal it? Well, I'll take that chance. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to continue with my packing. Good day. Mr. Bonner, I must trouble you for that dagger. All right. I think I'll keep this as a souvenir. You win, Mr. Bonner. Mr. Varanoff wishes to see you, madame. Mr. Varanoff? Show him in. Will you be seated? My name is probably unknown to you. I am only came recently to this country. But the fame of Madame Wing Su is known even in Shanghai. Indeed. And what is said of me? That your wit is second only to your charm. I hardly think you came here to make pretty speeches, Varan. <laughs> True. I came to solicit your aid, madam. In what way? I have been commissioned to secure a certain dagger belonging to the royal house of Li Pong. It is brought to this country by an American Rob Banner. Our efforts to secure the dagger and road were stopped. Fortunately, the American was put on his guard. And do you think I may succeed where you have failed? With your power and friends, 
I am sure of it. Perhaps. This dagger, is it of great value? Apparently, to the gentleman who desires it, is a great work of an ancient empire. I am sufficiently paid for securing it. And? And the half. What I will get will be yours. It belongs to the house of Li Fong, you say. Hmm. One of that name resides here. I wonder. Well, Jim, here I am. Why, Ralph! I hardly thought you'd recognize your brother. I hope I was able to fool those other birds. Well, you didn't land in that outfit, did you? Well, I had to if I wanted to land on my feet. No, I didn't fool them. Well, what are you talking about? <laughs> the reception committee awaiting me outside. What did you do? Start a revolution over there or something? <laughs> no. Just minded my own business. Well, then what's all the excitement about? I called on Lee Fung's honorable family to collect a little token for him and start at home. And from then on, boy, <laughs> my life sounds like a dime novel. <laughs> Attempt to strangle yours truly in his bed at the hotel. Attacked on board ship. Stateroom rifled. What for? Well, to my benighted intellect, it seems that a certain person craves Li Fong's gift. And I'll be mighty lucky if I get rid of the foolish thing. Well, is it, is it very valuable? I wouldn't say so, but I won't breathe easily until I deliver it to him. Is there anything I can do for you? Yes. <laughs> you can come along with me. On a night like this? <laughs> Why, you don't think a little thing like that annoys me after what I've gone through, do you? All right, Ralph. When I get my coat, I'll be right with you. Good. What is it, honored father? Why are you so nervous today? Today is momentous, my dear child, for both of us. What it brings forth may change the course of our lives. My promise to your father will soon be fulfilled. I brought you back to your land to be educated among your people. When Bonner brings me back that which I have sent for, you must take your place among them. Without you? You would not be accepted otherwise.
Your master is expected.